Hello wonderful people, this is Rumbi and welcome back to Rosary Princess TV. Linjani, Makadini, Kwaziwai, Salivonani, Munofara Ehere. How are you guys doing during these trying times? I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys are safe. Stay safe wherever you are. Uh, happy Africa Day guys. Today I'm coming with Africa. But before I get into today's business, I just want to take this time to appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for commenting, for watching my videos. I don't take you guys for granted. I really appreciate that. Thank you. See you Tino Tenda. As you can tell from the title, the description of the video, today we're celebrating us, Africa, the motherland, the land of our fathers, the land of our ancestors, where we come from, the place we call home. Personally to me, Africa means just more than a place. Africa is a feeling. Africa is a spirit. So Africa is what unites us. When I see an African, I can tell. Africa is what differentiates us from the rest of the world. My heart, personally, as Roger Princess, is branded Africa. I dream Africa. I think of Africa everywhere I go. I'm always thinking about you, Africa, the motherland, the land of our fathers. We love you, Africa. Africa is beautiful. So today is that day we embrace everything to do with us, from our culture, from our economies, from like everything to do with us, our rights. We're also humans. Sometimes uh, the reason why people take advantage of us as Africans is because we don't speak. Sometimes we don't write our own stories and then other people write their own versions of our stories. So this is what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to just embrace us and celebrate us proudly as Africans. I am an African. Personally, I'm from Zimbabwe. But whenever I see my brother from Nigeria, my sister from Ghana, my sister from South Africa, my sister from Kenya, my sister from Botswana, my sister from Mali, from Togo, from DRC, from any country in Africa, there is something that is similar. Besides the border that we're placed, we are the same people. There's something similar. When I see my sister from Senegal, when I go to buy food at a Senegalese restaurant in Harlem, I feel the connection i see the spirit of ubuntu even when i'm walking i'm talking to a nigerian sister i'm talking to this Ghanaian friend i see the connection that's exactly what i'm talking about i see the zambian sister we start talking even if i'm from from zimbabwe i meet this friend uh like the other day an example that i'll give you i met this girl we went for this conference it was for design students in new york and i saw something that was connecting us the spirit of ubuntu she was from tanzania and i was like hello sister how are you like there's something about us that connects us okay i talked to her and i could feel i could tell and i was telling her you know what yes i know in your country you speaks swahili but Swahili and Shona, the language that I speak, it's quite similar. Some words are even the same. Nyama is the nyama. Nyama, nyama. Okay. And we, we had so much fun. We enjoyed. We connected. There was something that I felt about it. She was friendlier than everybody was in the place. I'm not saying other people are not friendly. Get me right. I'm just saying there is this spirit of Ubuntu that connects us. So this is high time where Africans we wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and embrace who we are proudly with no fear standing and saying, you know what? I'm an African and I'm proud of this. I know as Africans, there is so much we've done. Our people are known all over the world with some of the best doctors that are known in the world. They're from Africa. They're from the continent. Some of the best are companies that are being run maybe they had the leaders in those countries are from the continent and some of the countries uh some of the companies are actually from the continent so this is the time we write our stories 
the problem with not writing not telling your story someone will come and tell you what they want you to hear they will give you their own version of the story okay so this is the time we embrace who we are the time we embrace our languages yes our languages matter our languages are important don't think they don't matter they do i i was talking the other time with someone and they were telling me uh how they don't see the importance of their local language versus them speaking other languages like english germany and all other uh western languages for them they were more important than their own language and I was like, but you know what? This mindset, it takes time for us to take it. It was something that was placed on us. I don't blame you. It's, I understand. But it's time we stand for our languages. They matter. Whether it's a Zulu, it's a Tswana, Shona, Ndebele, Swahili, Igbo. Any language that you know from Africa. I know we have 2000 plus languages. I will spend the whole video just listing them because there's so many. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is Ubuntu, the spirit that connects us. That spirit, Ubuntu is very important to us as a people. Ubuntu uh, is what tells me that I'm just going to greet you. Let me tell you something. When I came to New York, I was used to this Ubuntu spirit that I had in Zimbabwe. When I meet someone, even uh, a strange look here we call them strangers but back home there pe any person you meet if they are an elderly woman they're your mother that's ubuntu they automatically a mother you see you put them in the place of your mother if you see a child they're like your little sister your little brother that's exactly how we are raised right so i came to new york and i didn't understand how it works here so i used to greet people on the subway i'll say hi how are you and they will look at me with an eye like what's going on like this girl is she okay what's up she's greeting me is she going mad or something you know like people didn't understand me because my culture that's who we are we smile when we meet people when we have visitors we embrace them we give them all we have we believe in sharing that spirit where did it go let's embrace let's take back our ubuntu spirit in my language ubuntu is similar as uh we call it wunu wunu and a person the word person or uh, the word person is munu okay and wunu is uh in my language you call it sika uh, and this is uh the word that we know as ubuntu and ubuntu is basically who we are it's what we do the love that we have for one another when i see one african in her business thriving I go and support and buy. Why? Because the spirit of Ubuntu is telling me that if my sister in that business wins, I'm also going to win. When I see another sister are uh, doing their thing, I go, I support. Do you need help, sister? Can we collaborate? That's Ubuntu. That's what I'm talking about. So in Africa, we used to do this a lot, but now I've seen it going away slowly. I've seen our languages being dissolved, being diluted like Mazoe Orange Crush, which is one of the drinks that we drink in Zimbabwe. Mazoe. Mazoe Orange Crush, you better sponsor this video. Uh, Mazoe is a such a drink that i'll talk about on another day but basically i'm saying you know those drinks they dilute that's basically what i see happening to our ubuntu ubuntu is what unites us ubuntu is what connects us ubuntu, ubuntu is what tells you that you know what you are seeing that grandma who's in need okay ambuya in my language you say ambuya grandma okay oh you know she needs help let me help her should i take a should i give her i have two maybe she needs that's what connects us it's not weird to share it's not weird to to teach your children to greet the other people it's not weird in our culture it's not weird i know in other cultures it may be weird like i told you my new york story everybody looked at me on the subway then eh, eh, who why are you greeting us is everything okay but I had to do it because like in my couch, I thought I would say, good morning, Makadini, good morning, Mangwanani, hello. You know, but I didn't know that you don't do it here. It's not normal. Everybody's individual. People live their own lives. So, but for us in Africa, it's part of us. It's important. Family, you know, relatives, village. When one person in the village uh, graduates, the whole village celebrates. That's what 
what we are. Still on the spirit of Ubuntu, what unites us. Now this is the time to think, let's reflect as Africans, wherever you are. Think about those African brands. How can we promote each other? How can we collaborate? How can we unite? How, how can we make Africa a better place? Uh, even when you are outside Africa, your fellow Africans, how are you helping each other? How are you collaborating? How are you improving your Africanism, your relationships, uh, your children? Are they connecting as Africans? What are you teaching your children? Okay, that's so with Ubuntu, I just wanted to express the importance of it because that's what connects us. No matter where you are, no matter which part of Africa, you come from ubuntu is what connects us let us not uh get carried away and think ubuntu is no longer uh, important because we're in 2020 it doesn't matter which year we are in ubuntu is ubuntu we still need that spirit to connect us we still need our uh, that our uh, africanism you know being us being proud of who we are you know what? Like I said, our languages are important. Everything about us is important. We are special. We are not second class citizens. We're not uh, second grade. We are the people. Our people are doing it. Let's celebrate them. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is our heritage as Africans. I explained about Ubuntu, our heritage. So our heritage, in my language, heritage, we say Nakayedu. Nakayedu, our heritage is what? Our ancestors left us. <laughs> okay, so Nakayedu is our languages, is our culture. Our African cultures are rich. Our cultures are very rich. Let us not be carried away. There is one African proverb that I really love, which says, "When the roots are deep, there is no reason to fear the wind." Today, we are talking about problems like identity crisis this is the time to fight things like that this is the time to stand and say you know what we have our heritage which is our culture we have our heritage which is our language our languages that we speak as africans chishona chitswana zulu tosa ndevele you know there's so many languages uh swahili twi uh ibo there's so many African languages that are spoken out there and the, they are so sweet. You know, like when you're speaking these languages, there's something special about them. I love it. I always admire people when I see people speaking their language. What is stopping us from speaking and being proud of our languages? We should be proud of them. Okay, because those are important languages. Yes, they can be used to trade as well. They are languages of economics as well. If other cultures can do it, what is stopping us from doing it? We can do it as well. Let's be proud of who we are as a people. Let's be proud of who we are as, the, as a continent. We are one. One thing that I want to tell you in terms of our heritage, before the borders were placed, remember these borders were placed so that uh, colonization will be easy. To know that these territories are going to belong to these uh, these. Uh, superpower whatever 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 but otherwise before we didn't have these borders so you find that sometimes uh don't let these borders create hatred amongst ourselves we are the same people you find that sometimes your sister who is now across limpopo a place uh in south africa now used to uh before the borders were created they were the same people you find the shangan people in south africa you find the same shangan people in zimbabwe you find the tonga in um uh, in the tonga in zambia you find them in zimbabwe you find the laws people in zambia you find them in zimbabwe you find different people you find some you know all these people are found all over africa remember our ancestors are uh, used to walk like to travel they were nomads they would travel from one place to another uh some moved from the south to the north some from the north to the, to the south so you see that we are all connected in a way so let's embrace our languages that's why our languages are similar the only reason why maybe now they're now different is because they were changing with times and you know how it is with languages. 
but otherwise we are the same people never forget that never stop never get tired of helping your fellow african sister never get tired of helping your fellow uh african brother we are the people and remember africa is now everybody's looking at africa why do people in why uh, if you think africa is irrelevant why are other people looking at africa resources Look, think about our sheer butter our skin glow with that beautiful amazing sheer butter Think about our cocoa that is used in chocolates. Now I'm talking about our resources. Our minerals are used to make amazing jewelry. Are uh, the diamonds, whatever, different. We have resources that we were given by God. So let's embrace this. Let's appreciate who we are. Let us not get lost. We matter. Our beautiful land our beautiful people our beautiful culture so this video was just all about reminding us reminding you you and me about us africa how about us are uh, taking good care of our motherland how about us remembering who we are how about us uniting and celebrate our ubuntu our heritage our resources how about the children of africa enjoying their resources how about that okay if we were not careful will never enjoy that africa other people will forever but you know what africa is now it's our continent we should be proud of it uh thank you so much guys i uh, see you on the next video i really appreciate please subscribe 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 because when you subscribe you motivate me to do more videos okay bye